Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Uh, I'm going to try to do a hodgepodge potpourri today of, of a few stories and fobs. We'll see, we'll see where we get. So, right, let's go. First story. Yeah, yeah. A there was a, a man and a woman, they were 20 and 21 years old. They decided to exchange their baby for beer and a thousand dollars. Oh, okay. They told the man that they left their baby to watch or basically sold to. They that having three dogs and a baby was quote not working. And they were willing to surrender the baby for $1,000. No. Um, the other man wrote a letter for the couple to sign, which read, I, Darian Urban, and Shailene Ayers are signing over to redacted name of our baby boy redacted name for $1,000 on 92124. No. <laughs> the letter was signed by both parents and included a disclaimer that read, disclaimer, after signing this, there will be no change in y'all two's minds and to never contact again. Uh, so this guy, he went straight to the police, right? I'm, yeah, I mean, they got they got arrested and like, yeah, he basically he basically was like, they said that like they had some story like the baby's diaper was full and it had like rashes, like the, it was they were it was okay not a situation. So the guy essentially but baited them into doing this and then we're like. I'm going to report y'all to children's services and yeah. get y'all arrested because you I, have a problem. I kind of feel like baiting them to sell the child was kind of a dirty move. Um, because there, there's, like, just call CPS. Just call CPS, man. Get, and get to the child some help. Like, there's places you can just, like, hand the baby over. Most hospitals will just take the baby. Right, right. Like, just, and then they'll call in adoptions or, you know, yeah, yeah, it, yeah it, or whatever. It, you can get away. I don't want to say do get away like, with it, but you can, you can get, you can do it. Do they have orphanages anymore? Is that a thing? Yeah. Like, yeah, full blown, yeah. or, but are they like, I don't, I don't know, know if they're like, you know, Scotty Pippen. Sc what am I thinking of? <laughs> Annie? No. <laughs> Scotty Pippen. What is Pip? Pip is from Great Expectations. I don't know. What, I, I feel you. Miss anyway. Havisham. Uh, yeah, but I mean, Please, some have some messed more. up. People are awful. Don't have a kid if you can't. Like, you know what's really interesting? What's that? Condoms are way cheaper than a baby. Oh, my God, this guy. Just saying. Or just get a visectomy. Or facts, too. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, on to number two. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> millions of vehicles could be hacked and tracked thanks to a simple website bug. They found out that people were hacking Kias. Cool. You don't say Kia again, Not baby. Not even with that, but, like, uh, basically, somehow, and it wasn't just Kias, but... Of course, people need their car connected to the internet. You know what I mean? Yep. Like everything needs connected to the goddamn internet. And lo and behold, people can hack it, start it, yep. do all sorts of stuff. Yep. Here's, the, here's the moral of that story. You don't need a goddamn smart stove. You don't need a smart fridge. What are you you got to stop with the You don't need of, stuff connected to the internet because this is what's going to happen. It might happen. It might not. <laughs> you know, I mean, I might know. fall off a bridge. We I could, might not. We could also, you know, one day travel into the future. That would be disaster for like, everyone. Like our forefathers. Yeah, exactly. Like Elon and Mitch Hedberg. I'm just, hey, look. So, anyways, number three. Uh, we talked about the IDF Israel pager attack. Yeah, I remember that. I remember they that. said that uh, 1,500 Hezbollah fighters lost sight and or limbs due to that pager bomb Ew, attack. It says many terrorists run are rendered unfit for combat due to the explosions. Uh, they said their their strength now is 40 to 50,000 members, about half of what it was complete previously. I mean, the pager attack didn't do that, but... Yeah. Um, I always wonder where that news is coming from because... Uh, propaganda machines yeah from you know from both sides so it's you know as as that's unfortunate i mean I, or fortunate i i don't know what, i don't know man I, like people what? are people but if you're like terrorists and murdering and raping and killing like yeah. how do i how do i feel about you losing your sight of your arm like, yeah, I'm like I man, it's, that's a whew. like i feel like the the attempt to appeal to people's schadenfreude just that feeling that you have of like being happy when you see somebody bad get like killed or am beat I, up or something am i in the wrong that when even when people do bad things it's still i still feel bad that bad things happen to them because they are a human 
Does that make me a bad person or a good person? It, it makes you a human. It makes you a person because I feel like a lot of people do. It's popular because it's effective. Feeding off of that feeling is effective way of getting information to people, attaching that emotional aspect to it. I try to disconnect to that personally only because I saw it coming a little too much. Like jealousy is a part of that. Right. Like you see somebody or even that whole idea of like you see somebody doing something stupid in a nightclub or stupid in a grocery store and you're like, whoa, at least my life ain't that bad. That's a part of it too. <laughs> that yeah, is. No, it is. You. I feel you. Like, Comparison is a thief of joy, man. So um, I see here that I saw an ad and it blew my mind. It says the flu shot is already free. But get 20% off your next purchase of $20 at Walgreens. If you, I'm like, what? I'm like, wait a second. They out here promoting discounts at Walgreens to get a flu shot? Like, this is kind of weird, dude. You know, it is crazy what the uh, the CV-19 did to the world, man. About now vaccines? People, now people, people don't, don't even, anything. <laughs> yeah, they don't even want to get flu shots anymore. Flu shot, everybody used to get a flu shot. Yeah, I, I mean, now it's now a flu shot is now you're leftist. You're you're a woman with purple hair, dude. It's it's insane. Like, well, I saw something that it was a uh, somewhere there was like a measles or a mumps outbreak or something. Like, because people stopped giving their kids those vaccines when they were born. Like, it's, it was. I was like, that's insane. Just the word is like taboo anymore, and it should not be that way. Yeah, they're gonna yeah. have to change the name up, man. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be called preventative measures. Did you get your preventative measure? Yeah. Um, so, anyways, so we talked about Microsoft laying off a bunch of people, uh, which was very horrendous Sad. because you know cost cutting measures. <gasps> yeah. We found out what they did with the cost cutting, though. They what announced they a sixty billion dollar stock buyback, and they raised their dividend ten percent for their stockholders. Wonderful! So, so they gave it back to the to the stockholders, right on the backs of all the hardworking. Americans and other country wow. folk that work for Microsoft. Wow. And they don't make any more money by their pay, but if you own some stock, you get some more money. Wow. Yeah. So they're inflating that, I'm assuming? Because you can't spend $60 well, what, billion dollars on a gaming studio and oh, then yeah. well, have they your did stock is, go up. That well, doesn't work that way. They, if you spend that much, it makes your stock's value go up because there's less. So you're not like, you're not deflating, the, you're not inflating the price. You're you're taking away the supply, so the price is going to go up because there's less available, yeah. and then you're also giving them more money every month based on how many they own. They own, yeah, insane, insane. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, uh, but look, man, we got a My Hero Academia Overwatch collab, so you know, uh, okay. I'm happy about I mean, that. I don't sure. I mean, I know it's an anime, but good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they putting Naruto in Overwatch, bro? Don't get me started, Can man. Can they put Sasuke in there for you? Oh, stop it, dude. Don't do. Don't play with me, all right? <laughs> don't. Don't. You're like, I don't ever cry, don't. but I would cry if they don't. put Sasuke I, in. I'm going to nerd out. Look, okay, because look, it is. it could happen. If they got MHA, if they got My Hero Academia, that is like a mainstream anime. That means is that Naruto is possible. I and, mean, they put Naruto and uh, Sasuke in uh, Fortnite. They did, so it's possible. Yeah. My fingers are crossed. That's hey. all I'm gonna say. They also did a My Hero Academia with Fortnite too. I remember the Deku Bomb, baby. Hey. I was there with you. So guys. maybe it's on the way. <laughs> anyway, they could have a Sakura uh, Moira skin, uh, brother. I'm fangirling. <laughs> Anyways, last one. Uh, so on a golf course, golf course. It, it's usually um, it's usually bad uh, manners to. Uh, cut in front of somebody else, like play through. A lot of times, like without their permission. Like if, like if I went, I've been golfing like once or twice as an adult, and we're just screwing around, and yeah. and people start lining up behind you because they're better and faster. You're like, hey man, <laughs> y'all, y'all go ahead and play through. We're just screwing around, having a good time. Like, yeah, yeah, do yeah. your thing. Um, but when you do that without their permission. That is kind of bad manners. That's ba BM. So uh, there was a guy. He's a 54-year-old man. After the ninth hole, him and his crew stopped to get food on the golf course. Okay. I guess clubhouse or food. I don't know. I, they didn't. So these people played around them. Homeboy goes out there, causes a confrontation, calls the guy's wife a see you next Tuesday mm -hmm. because they cut in front of him. I was mm -hmm. like, but aren't y'all eating? Like, what are they supposed to wait 30 minutes for y'all to eat your food? 
caused the <laughs> thirty. Joe, I think it was the thirty-something-year-old husband yeah. to beat the crap out of the man because he called the dude's wife the c-word, and now he's arrested for assault and all sorts of other stuff. I'm like, but he's gonna come out and he's gonna get glazed hard. You dig me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to stop you in your tracks. I was just like, <laughs> but yeah, let's Phrase, yeah. phrasing. Hey, he is, man. Dude, it's. Mm. I better get glazed after that. Anyway, yeah, that's crazy. I do not know why emotions are so high, man, but yeah. Like, it's just know, word against it. It's word against word in this. Well, like, well I mean, I don't, I don't think there's much to debate on that. He beat the crap out of him. It, but, I mean, yeah. it doesn't matter. You, you like, here's the people. thing. Yeah. Words are not physical violence. It is not illegal to call somebody anything you want. That's it is facts. illegal to hit someone for no reason. That's facts. Like, someone could call, come up to me and be like, your mom's this, that, the other. I cannot hit them. But I wouldn't be surprised if you did. Yeah. I mean, right. Like, I'm not saying the dude was wrong, but he was wrong. <laughs> there you, you said it. That, that yeah. is the best way to say it. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to say he was wrong, but he was wrong. Yeah. Like, like if, you, he made a decision. I'm not, I'm, I can't even front. If it were my wife, I might do the same thing. Even the judge is probably like, yeah, if somebody called my wife that too, I'd probably want to hit him too. Like, to some extent, the jury has to see it in his way. Maybe he called my wife a C word and he was being this, he was doing this. Yeah, I hit him. May he probably shouldn't have hit him as many times. Right. There's a difference. Well, and that's, I think what it said in the article was like, the, it's it's the difference between like you punch somebody once yeah, or you beat them unconscious assault versus attempted homicide right right like, like so did he, some, he didn't kill the guy somebody you know what i mean if i mouth off to someone and they pop me in the face yeah i might be like kind of deserve that you know what i mean like i man, I was running my mouth a little bit too much but if i like say oh ha ha you're a piece of s and they beat me to the point that like i lose sight in an eye i'm like homie it wasn't that bad. I wasn't is, trying to kill you. How how bad did this guy? Get? I I, it, I don't think he was that. I mean, he was like he was messed up, but it didn't. He wasn't. The article didn't say anything about like how bad, but like he wasn't like maimed. Well, yeah. Okay, good. Well, I hope that he learned his lesson because you shouldn't be a jerk to people. You shouldn't call people the c word. Yes, and you know why? Because somebody might beat the shit out of you. I mean, play, he's, he's lucky to run to the guy who had a gun and would shoot stupid him. Over. Games win stupid prizes. You know what that I mean? part. You know what I've never done? Call the woman a c word out in public to her face. Yeah, for basically no reason. Right? Yeah. We're like, talking about a golf game. Maybe if she was trying to murder me, yes. I would call her that. <laughs> yes, thank you. Like, but you're trying to hit me with a car. You, you know, and that's cool. It's cool. Right? Right. right. But if like. Yeah, right, exactly. Like, you cut in front of me. <laughs> I thought you almost said it. <laughs> no, no. 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 So, like, anyways, <laughs> that was our potpourri episode. We got through, what, like five or six stories. So, uh, that's all the time we have today's episode. Go to thecrazetown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.